So backrooms level run for your life is a very famous or infamous level in the history of the backrooms lore. Some people actually hate it for being like cringe and a glorified temple run, and some people love it for it being like nostalgic and having this horrifying concept and it really being scary and stuff. And I'm kind of in the middle. I like parts of it and I also hate other parts of it. But the level in today's video in this new Backrooms level that I'll be covering is like a better, more mature version of level run for your life. It's a completely different concept and I've actually never seen a concept like this before. The level is level 306, AKA auto run. This level is awesome, it's amazing. I think you're really gonna enjoy it. If you do, leave a like for the video. I, like I said, I've never seen this style of level and I think it'll be interesting for y'all to see it as well. Level 306, or Auto Run, is the 307th level inside of the backrooms. The Expanse takes the visual appearance of an infinite series of airport hallways, walkways, escalators, and moving paths. And all of that is inside this dark, oppressive atmosphere. The hallways are full of very strange, very enigmatic layouts and geometry, as well as harmful creatures that lurk around inside of that darkness. Now, I'm sure most of you that are watching this have been inside of an airport in real life, so you've seen the moving walkways, the treadmill type things, as well as the escalators that are inside of them. But if you have not been inside one for some reason, there's these walkways on the floor Floor that can essentially help you speed walk down the hallways to get to your plane faster. They're like treadmills that go in one direction, forward or backwards, and you can pretty much walk three or four times as fast on top of them than you could on a regular floor. And that style of walkway is what makes up the majority of the walkways in this level. And that'll be important in a few minutes. Now let me get to the cool part of the level. The entire layout, the entire design of this place is notably confusing. It's very disorienting, doesn't make much sense to anyone who comes here. And because of this, psychological distress is a very common thing among explorers. So make sure if you do come here and if you explore it, don't let that get to you. The hallways of the level stretch out pretty widely and each panel underneath your feet and on the floor is made up of four to six of those moving walkways that I just talked about going at varying speeds and varying directions. The hallways wrap and they turn in opposite ways and they go up, they go down, and it all makes for this giant machinery confusing layout. You won't really know the direction the floor moves in until you step on the floor and it moves with you. So be careful with that as well. And on top of the moving floors, there are also escalators that go up and down that can take you to different floors of this complex. The place is very large, very confusing, so there's a ton of these escalators. They connect seamlessly as well to those moving walkways, so you could be going straight on a moving walkway and then go down on an escalator. Just make sure you don't trip and fall or you might be eaten or something. Scattered around this level's hallways and moving floors are these small connector areas that are made out of tiled concrete. These places seem to be like the physical parts of the level that hold it together, kind of like the cornerstones. But more importantly, they work as a kind of rest spot for people that are running through the level. Since like I said, most of the floors are moving, it's nice that these areas don't move. You can kind of relax here for a second. The temperature and the ambience inside of the airport is very unique. It's actually really cold and it hovers around 50 degrees Fahrenheit or 10 degrees Celsius. And since most of the surfaces here are metal and industrial, it makes everything really, really cold to the touch. It's also very dark, very grainy, very oppressive inside. And that means you can't really see far ahead of you as the lights in the ceiling either do not work or if they do, they barely shine and they don't really help you, which leaves some of the level in complete darkness. While walking around this place, you'll hear soft mechanical humming and whirring of the conveyor belt floors and the escalators. You'll hear the calm hum of the lights, if you see any, and you might also hear random announcements come over the PA system inside of the airport that you're in, and these announcements typically have unintelligible words and phrases being said don't make any sense. But whatever you do, do not listen to those voices on the PA system. Oftentimes as well, while you're walking around, you'll hear distorted gurgling and voices from underneath and around you anywhere in the level. So navigate at your own risk. 
It's assumed these are entities, but we are just guessing. The moving floors of the level are also not consistent. There's not just one that goes straight and one that goes behind you. They change constantly. They change speeds, they change directions at random arbitrary times, and no pattern has been identified. So be careful when you're walking around so you don't lose your balance, so you don't lose your way, because you have no idea what is lurking inside the darkness around you. And speaking of things lurking inside the darkness, let's get to the entity section. Hounds and smilers and skin stealers and moths and dullers and party goers are the most common entities that you'll probably see in this level. They often roam around these very dark expanses in very small, tight knit groups, which means surviving an encounter with them is very low. You're probably not going to. These entities, just like the wanderers who come here, are subject to the moving floors. The level does affect the entities, so they could try to chase after you, but the floors could push them back. Or they could be running towards you and the floors are helping them by going faster. I guess it really just depends on your luck, to be honest, but it is important to note that the level's effects do affect the entities as well as yourself. The announcements that I mentioned earlier seem to make the entities very angry, or like rile them up in a way. So because of this, make sure you stay away from areas where the speakers are the loudest. Don't go near them. Non-hostile entities can also be encountered in this level. Things like blub cats have been seen and documented. And in order to survive this level and all its floors and all its loops and escalators and all that stuff, you need to make sure that you watch your step. That's the most important piece of advice I can give you. Watch your step and avoid walkways that move backwards. Make sure you stay away from the voices on the PA system. Make as little noise as possible. That way you don't attract the rest of the creatures here. And do not try to break the glass on the wall walls of the level to get outside. It's futile and it'll probably result in you getting attacked. So if you take your time, if you follow the conveyor belts and you go forward the best you can and jump from path to path correctly, you're probably going to survive the level pretty decently. But this level is a class four, so try not to make any noise or rattling or whatever because those groups of entities are walking on the level constantly and they're hungry and you're food. To enter the level, you can no clip through the floor on level zero, which is pretty scary because you could just like be new to the back rooms of level zero and then fall through a floor and gets into this level, which would be horrible. But if you want to exit, you can walk through the hallways until you find a restroom exit door that is unlocked. You can open it up and you'll be sent to level 189. But that essentially was level auto run. So like I said, it's kind of more of a mature version of level run for your life. And instead of an army of creatures chasing you the second you get there, this level has small groups of entities that walk around the entire complex that are affected by the level just like you. You know, the moving floors here can help them or hurt them as well as they can help you or hurt you. This level is soft and mechanical sounding with ambient noises and it's not loud and red and blaring sirens like the other level run for your life. I don't know, there's good differences, there's bad differences, but overall, I love the aesthetic of this level, love how it's dark and abandoned, it just works. And the concept of the floors moving different directions, just like in real life, that adds like a level of horror that I didn't even imagine could be there. But yeah, that's it for the video, thank you for watching to the end. If you enjoyed, leave a like, if you didn't, then don't. Thank you so much for your support, love and appreciate you all, and I will see you in the next video.